How's it going everybody? It is Dennis and we're back with our monthly video talking about how much I made in dividend income and in option income and in total how much did I make for the month of August. Of course, as always, we do this every month. We go over how much I've made, not to brag, not to show off, but to go over just how these funds that I'm investing in are performing, say it be yield max, say it be around hill or any other fund that I have. Plus to see how my option strategies are working. Are they winning? Am I being prof is it profitable or is I or am I losing and am I going down the drain and the option strategy is not working or is it just not worth the time and risk and just in general uh, stress spent trading options. So we're going to go ahead and go over all that as we usually do. And once again, before we start, I want to say thank you everybody for supporting the videos. We've been doing great on the past videos talking about Roundhill QDT and XDT. We've been getting good views. We've been getting good likes. We've been getting great subs being added to the channel. Thank you everybody who has subscribed and is watching. And once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's go ahead and get into it. So of course, we are looking at August. August is ending the time of making this video. It's coming to the end of August. So starting off with dividends, we are looking at OHI. As always, this is the first dividend that we get paid out or we have on the list. And for that, we got $12.59 from OHI. Pro Stag, we have $4.04. And of course, we have to look at the previous ones before we move on even. OHI $12.59 compared to $12.32, so the dividends are growing. For Stag, we have $4.04 .04 compared to $4.02, so dividends are growing. Uh, we have Main $5.34, once again, also growing. Uh, we have $73.07 .07 from Apple, so we're going into Yield Max ETFs now. From Apple, we have $73.07, .07, which is grown from the $58.74 from previous month or the $69.42. Of course, we've also grown our share count. So it does make sense why we have dividend growth as well. Bird to let Tesla, we have $351.87 earned compared to the $355 and the $223 from previous months. So we did go down $4 on the dividend for Tesla while also growing our shares. So the dividends or distribution per share was down for August, but still $351.87 is a good amount. We have $129.29 from AMZ. Of course, as we may or may not know, AMC did under deliver or perform a little bit uh, worse this month for August uh, compared to previous months. They did pay roughly, I think it was 40 cents per share uh, dividend distribution, but still $129.29, not too shabby. And I am adding more shares because Amazon at the moment is under the 200 day moving average and the 50 day moving average. So it's, I believe, is undervalued. So I added in a lot of shares. Now, looking also at GUI. Another one that I've been adding a lot of shares into because currently I feel like it's undervalued, especially moving other the 50 day moving average. Uh, I got $113.86, which is, of course, way higher than the previous dividends per share I have or $60.51 and $69.03 because I did add a lot of shares. Another one, Yield Max ETF, the last Yield Max ETF and the most diversified in my opinion of Yield Max ETF is YMAX, which paid me $168.50 cents higher than the previous month so we have a grower uh and of course it's growing because i am of course adding shares so you can have that bias on top but 168 dollars and 50 cents is what i've earned from ymax from htgc we have 56.52 it has grown from the previous payout we had of 55.16 sphd we do not own anymore so of course we don't have a dividend for it we sold it uh, three months ago for efc we have $12.18, another dividend paying ETF that has been growing on a monthly basis. We have DHS that paid $16.46, catching back up to the poor performance from last month and, cat and still a little bit lower than the month before that. But it's still growing and we still have the dividends coming in. Now, DGRW has not been paying recently. Uh, no dividend being paid for that. SCHH, of course, is a quarterly paying one, so we did not receive a dividend for that. RITM is a quarterly paying dividend ETF, so no dividend from there. TSLL we have sold out of, so we're not going to be receiving any dividends from that as well. And lastly, QDTE, the Round Hill ETF I've been talking about, I've been investing into, making videos on, and I've earned $238.47, 
from QDTE from the month of August alone, and that is holding 100 to 110 shares of QDTE by the end of the month. Of course, we didn't start with 110 shares, we had like 90, so it added up to 110 shares. And of course, as you can see, our option or dividend income for the month of August is $1,182.19. It has grown. We had 997, 735, 745. The dividends are growing. The dividends we're receiving every month are growing. It is going great. We're having a stable amount of growth. Of course, it's not jumping dramatically, right? As you can see, 745, 735. There's days or months where it's low. Uh, then we had 997 and $1,182.19 now. You might be asking, how are we funding this? How is it growing so fast? It's How is the drip? reinvesting and growing so fast well it's not drip alone i have drip i reinvest all my dividends pretty much i do not take anything out of my account but a thousand hundred eighty two dollars and 19 cents came with a little bit of help from the option income which we're going to move into right now looking at riot riot we earned 405 dollars this month it is lower than the previous months but we did exit a bunch of the positions like mentioned before the reason we had a negative 102 dollars for last month was because we exited Riot put. Uh, I had some put options on it. I had cash secure puts. I decided it is time to leave that position and begin to invest into something else. And that's what I did. That's why we had a negative $102. But this month, we have $405 on nine contracts being traded. So not too shabby. Of course, it's not 728 or 893 or from the previous months where I had $900,000 earned. But $405 earned. For Riot, which is a stock that has been down lately due to Bitcoin being down, is not too shabby. Of course, Mara, we're not trading it, but it's still there just to have it uh, for data purposes. TSLL, we sold out of, no longer in Tesla. I, of course, I still love and believe in Tesla, but that's why I have Tesla. So I'll be holding Tesla for my investment into Tesla. And now, the last option income that I've been getting, the last option uh what's the like option trades that i've been doing and what has been growing my account to have a thousand hundred eighty two dollars dividends earned and add all those shares on to is t n a i've been talking about this i've been mentioning this t n a is the strategy i am trading currently or the etf i'm currently trading trading with my new strategy of running poor man covered calls I run poor man covered calls on TNA. It, the poor TNA is a three times leverage uh, Russell 2000 ETF. And I earned $1,839 running that strategy on TNA. I currently have roughly nine contracts running on TNA. I have uh, six expiring in the end of this year. And I have another three expiring in the end of next year. So we've earned $1,839 from those nine contracts compared to Riot who also has nine contracts, but only earned us a measly $405. We've been earning good. We've been earning great. $1,839 is a lot of money. As you can see from last month, we earned $1,535. And this month, we added one more contract on top of that and earned $1,839. And of course, I love being transparent as possible. This is not just numbers made up from the sky. As you can see, I earned $270 from a roll. I earned another, if we go up, $102 from a roll. And you might be thinking there in July, how does it count for August? Well, because these were rolls from August 2nd to August 9th. So I'm counting them as August income. We have $102. Then we have another $504, $164. We have moving on to $330, $66. And we keep going. This is where I actually rolled one of my long contracts. So the calls that I purchased, I rolled it up, got a premium or got a, I guess, got cash of $1,320. Use that to buy another contract expiring in 2026 and then sold more contracts. So that's where I added on the contract where I got $43, $26, $9, $120, $36, $13, $48, $108, $108. And of course, this $20, but this is counting already for the next month. So we left off with the last trade making us $108, which came out to the total of $1,839. And of course, with Riot, as always, being transparent, we did a trade for $54, $99, $45, 
and fault 252, which made us the total of $405. And we missed out on the dividend side, but these are all the dividends that I got. When we look at August 2nd, these are all the dividends I received. And as you can see, most of them are reinvested. And the ones which were not reinvested, which is Tesla and AMZ, I manually reinvested based on my strategy and what ETF I want to purchase. So that being said, $1,839 from TNA, $405 from Riot, and $1,182.19 from all my dividends. What does that come out to? To the month of August, how much did I make from options? How much did I make from dividends? How much did I make in total? Well, it comes out to a grand total of $3,246.19. We beat our previous earnings by almost $800, almost $1,000 from the previous month and almost two times our earnings from the month beforehand. Yes, we've almost two times our money from the month beforehand, and we are up almost $1,000 from the month before, all because of TNA, all because of Riot, and all the dividends we have grown and the shares we have grown in those dividend ETS. Of course, this is not cash. This is not money I have in hand. Most of this money was reinvested on a weekly basis when I do my trades on contracts. I take that money of that week, and put it into whatever I deem necessary. Same with the dividends. I receive my dividends and I reinvest to where I want the money to go. This money is not cash. If I do want to cash, I could take it out. If I want to take, take it out, I could take it out of margin or I could wait to receive it from dividends or I could wait to get it from my contract, but I choose not to. I have a job, I make my money, I have my salary, so that is good enough for me. This money I leave to grow so $3,426 is how much I made and reinvested back into my portfolio. Of course, it could go down. It could go up. That $3,426 today in value could be $2,000 or it could be $4,000 or it could be $5,000 or it could be even $1,000. It depends on where the stocks that I invested to go. But in general, we made $3,426.19 for the month of August just because the option income is going off. As you can see, $2,244 earned just off options income and $1,182 earned just off dividends. We've reached that dividend income goal I've wanted to reach of $1,000. And option income, honestly, is just the cherry on top. It goes where it wants to go. I don't really have a goal with that. My primary goal is to increase that dividend income. Get it to $2,000. Get it to $3,000 a month. Anything that make my, makes my life easier of not having to trade every single day, every single week, every single month, anything that makes that easier is my goal. So $1,082 this month, I'm hoping next month it's $1,003, $1,004, $1,006 or whatever. Uh, I just want to get to $2,000, then get to $3,000. And of course, all that dividend that's coming in will go straight back into itself or into other strategies to make that faster, make that growth cycle faster more option strategies, more shares, increase, increase faster and faster until we hit a point where the dividend income I make is enough for me to live where I don't have to work a 95 and where I don't have to go out and do work for a boss and I could do whatever I, I want with it, say be invest more into my portfolio or go out and live my life the way I want to. But that is August. That is how much I've made. I just deleted it. Let's go ahead and return that. But that's how much I've made, $3,426. And 19 cents and of course i love being transparent as fossil as you guys can see these are all the transactions all the dividends all the all the trades i made to earn what i've earned and of course as always this is not to show off this is just to show you guys how these stra strategies how these etfs are doing it for me are they making me money are the dividends worth it are the negatives that we see with tsoy and all these other yield max etfs worth it are the risks I take with the option strategies worth it? We could see it here that just for one month alone, we've earned $3,426, which is pretty much me being down on Tesla for the past year and more. So we've earned what I've been down on Tesla in just one month, what I've been down on a year, and Tesla has returned a bunch and a bunch of more dividends since then. So that has been me. Thank you everybody so much for watching. That has been our grand total for August setting another record i don't know if i can keep setting these records every month month over month but i hope i do because of course that means my portfolio is growing my strategy is working 
but we'll see in the next month i do think that we might slow down a little bit we our pace might slow down and we might be a little bit actually under the 3400 mark depending on how volatility is depending on where the market goes depends on how interest rate cuts work out but in general thank you everybody so much for watching thank you everybody so much for supporting i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys look at these funds decide maybe to invest them to some of them yourselves of course this is not financial advice but this is just my investment portfolio my opinion i hope you guys could take a look at it maybe think hey i like the returns on tesla i might go into it i like the returns on ymax i might go into it i like the returns on qdte i might invest into it and then i like these option strategies i might take a look at them of course this is just a way for you guys to educate yourselves by looking at a portfolio that might be similar to yours might be larger to yours might be smaller to yours and might be performing differently uh, than yours is maybe i am performing better with a smaller portfolio maybe i'm performing worse with a larger portfolio or maybe we're performing similarly and you just want something to compare to but anyways thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like a subscribe it just supports the channel uh it makes me aware that you guys are enjoying the content and i'll see you guys next week for the video which i've been talking about discussing the strategy that we're running that has been able to earn me this amount of income per month so thank you everybody so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video next week peace